get in the way. Jesus Christ, Lee. Hey! Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? Maybe we can wait for an opening. We could be waiting a long time. Still, Lee's right, and that we gotta pick our time and go. Anybody know how far and in what direction the mansion is? We probably ought to start there. It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh... I don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. Okay. Probably just need to go a little slower. And I know we can't afford dead weight, so... Don't treat me like I am. We won't. Now what? We get down and... We find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Hospital must have run out of doctors. It's an extension ladder. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh... I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And out there? Look at that dust. Fuck, man. Who knows? What's going on? That's just... everything. Fuck, man. <laughs> you know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. 
I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are, right now, and I can't imagine Cat and Duck and all this mess. Kid. No. No, I I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's, it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. There's a bell tower over there. We know what those do. Yeah. Could be part of how we get through the streets. Yeah. Any thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm all right. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. That looks like Crawford Square over there. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We can't stop looking out for each other. You two have been solid since day one. What's this, day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it. Allergies. Shit. People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with hay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies, too, and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you gonna be able to hang in there? I have to. The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. Hey. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. You need some help with that? I got it. Damn it.
buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? <laughs> yep. Wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there? way tons of them jesus now get back here well no ladder i think i have to jump there's no way back you can make it it ain't that far you got this Got this, motherfucker. Goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. That was a good jump. Just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? It's the guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem. They're gone. Holy shit. They're gone. Relax. Hey, guys. No. It wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions, uh contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We'll never find them. We would have done the same. Says the guy who wouldn't take a box of food from an abandoned car. Things have changed. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! 